Restaurant Pump. What's up, PD Pablo? <laughs> Georgie Jazz Hands and Leah. What's, what's no, the no, name? No, no, no. Get it right. Leonce. Leonce. Hey. I apologize. Hey, I didn't been. know if anything changed over the Super Bowl and we changed the. Yeah. Liana. Liana. Ooh, Ooh, I like me. that. Girl. I like that. <laughs> so my pregnant belly too. <laughs> yes, I still have some of mine. Somebody blow the wind in my hair. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. I'm excited for today. So am I. I. I feel like we got a lot of stuff going on right now. Uh, Leah's trying to open up a place. You're trying to open up a place. I'm trying to open up I'm a place. I'm doing nothing. And I think we're looking at totally different scenarios for all of us. I think, uh, what they quote you to do the floors over there? Ooh. How much were the floors? Your floors? 60, 70,000? $70,000. $70, and then for your place, you have to go from the ground up, right? It's a bar. It it's a bar. It's our first bar in the group. And, um, uh, it's scary. It's a lot. <laughs> it's a, it's lot. a lot. Yeah. And uh, I know we've opened up restaurants with four walls for $20,000 or less from start to finish. Kitchen, front of the house, chairs. Ready to go, right? Shimon was a bookstore and an art gallery. I was about to sip. God right? Damn it. Right? Yes. So I think we've gone through a lot of different scenarios. Uh, what kind of advice do we want to give to people that want to open up their own restaurant but don't have the cash to do Run. it? Run for your life. That's the easy way Don't out, George. That's the easy Stay way a out. Server. That's Be the happy. easy way out. Stay no. married. They want a career. They don't want a job anymore. They want to move oh, okay. on. Oh, sorry. They, they want, want to move ownership. on. They want autonomy. They I don't mean, want to be confined by the cap. Yeah. So if you're a server, you can never make more. How do we, you know, what steps do we take to tell somebody that pockets empty saying, I want to open up my own place? I don't have the money to do it. You know, you're looking at sixty thousand, seventy thousand dollar floors. I'm opening up downstairs with Ooh, downstairs with Petri, whatever we talk need. To me. You know, you're downstairs. opening up a bar from up. How do we do we get the money? Do we open up with what we got? How do we do it? I we mean, know patience. we can do it. Patience. Patience. Well, I feel like a lot of the things that Yanni always says or you guys that have been in it a lot longer than me, it's always look for low risk, look for something that's already set up, somebody mm -hmm. that already is trying to get out, the equipment's already there, or we go looking for places that are selling off all their stuff. You just gotta get creative. Like you we were talking creative. about the floors, the floors are gonna be 70,000. How else can we do floors? How about we strip them down and refinish what's there? Or what can we do ourselves? And that's the yeah. benefit of having the group too. Yeah. That's what I, we're doing now. We're trying to find, uh, we're trying to find a cheaper uh, route to the floors to make it easier on ourselves. Mm -hmm. So we're not throwing all this money out for the new floors, which I think are, Stupid. Well, yeah, I came in and I saw the floors after they ripped them out. And they're like seventy thousand to redo these. And I'm like, I love the floors as is. Yeah, concrete I would. Is on trend. I would no. throw a little of the paint on the floor because it's all nice concrete. A little white drizzle here and there. Just love it. make what you got work. Those four walls can do wonders for you if you know how to efficiently uh, lay it out properly. That's what she, he said. That's what. Yeah. Uh, look. Four walls layer out. Love what it. did they say at the one place that we're opening up, Petunia? They're like, uh, you can't have an oven in here. Okay, no oven, done. Uh, you need to put a hood system. Why? Yep. Well, how are you going to cook? I'm like, can I use a steamer? No, you cannot. Uh, can I boil water? Yeah, you can boil water. Okay, we're Boom. opening up a pasta restaurant. All homemade pasta and we boil the water. Can I keep my sauces hot? Yeah. Can I make my own sauces in a pot? Yeah. Okay, we could do a kitchen with two burners and <clears throat> call it a day. I don't have to spend $20,000 no. to outfit it or get a hood system or you do steam. that. Make it work. That's whatever it creative. takes, you get whatever creative. it takes. Old Shimon used to have a small little oven and a, yeah. a burner. Yeah, they didn't want we, us to put it up there. No, and we're not we going to. 60 yes. covers, 65 what covers. Was it? Uh, it, was it was a candy store and an arc, uh, Thomas Kincaid gallery. And they you, tore down the wall and they're like, OK, go. OK, it was it was nuts. And then yeah. then I put a small pizza in there. So we had two ovens in there. And it was still ridiculous what yeah. you guys are putting out and what I was putting out. And now Shimon's got less seats and a Stupid, beautiful kitchen for yeah, no reason. But you know what? I love it. Love it. Uh, as long as you can use what you got the right way, uh, you can move forward. And that comes to the front of the house, kitchen. I think people are too worried on the mechanics of, I need this, I need that, I need the other thing to move forward. You know what? Uh, I think Yanni says it the best. Pivot. If it's yeah. not working, pivot. What's that Friends thing? What does he say? What? Pivot. 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 I, don't, <laughs> I don't watch Friends. I'm sorry. That's okay. It's not me. I Even if you don't, you too. should know that scene. Yeah. yeah. Something with the couch and something with the couch. Know. Yeah. I never saw. I don't know. It. What? No. I mean, I've, I've seen, seen, I've seen certain either. episodes, but 
But I mean, that's the, that's exactly where we are with the bar because my partner and I, we don't have the, first they wanted us to, for it to be a restaurant and bar to build a bathroom. To build a bathroom in this location had to be union workers because it's a corporate building and it was going to be $75,000 just for one little unisex bathroom with a sink. We couldn't do that. So it's like, okay, well then we'll go to a bar. Well, now we want to change the facade of the, the bar. Listen, just get open. Let's just get some booze in there. People aren't going to care if the bar isn't the color we originally wanted. But if you have a good product, I think if you have a vision and a product, yeah. you can get there. Just start, start simple. And as time goes on and you're doing well, then you can add on. Eventually, once we're making money, we might change the structure of the bar. We might add more seats. We'll do build outs. But my advice to anybody, if you really want to do it and you got the drive and you feel it, just go for it. Start small, low risk, and don't overcomplicate things. Once you start doing all that, you lose yourself in it. Yes. $70,000 floors, nobody's eating off the floor. Are, uh, the, are they clean? I will. And is your food banging? Like, besides that, what else do you want? I mean, I do some banging. I do cook some food. So, I mean, I'm together, saying. Together, we got a party. You can make it all work. Get yeah. good music in there, good food, good yeah. atmosphere, yeah. good staffing, yeah. employees that can engage. But it's also uh, like guests. How we are as owners, too, because you, for your bar, you and your partner are well-known people in Lanxia that you they will come to see you guys. So That's, you can, literally can open with four bottles and some soda. And guess what? You're a, it's a party. But I argue that all day because we've done a lot of you Don't guest argue me. Bar- don't you dare argue don't with me. Don't you talk you. to me like that. Uh-uh. But we've done a lot of guest bartending and people will hire people like us because we have a following and friends to come in. And that's supposed to make their business busy that night. I don't really believe in that. I feel like if you are good at what you do, personable, any person that walks up can be a regular now. I make regulars every week. So whether we're well-known or not, I'm actually not banking on my friends and followers to make us successful. I'm banking on making new ones that are already customers of that property and using that to propel us forward. And then our people will pop in here and there. But like last summer, we had a restaurant and I can count on one hand, actually three fingers, the people that I know personally, hey, (laughs) nasty, but I can count on three fingers, the people that I actually know that drove all the way down to support us. And it only happened twice. So banking on your well-known friends and whatnot, and your well-known, well-known customers and more than that. Friends are friends are losers. But if they love the place that you work at already, they're not, they're going to come and say hello, but they're probably going to go back to where they met you. Like yeah, at the yeah. place that they love. That's why they go there. But yeah, that's not my plan. My plan is to really build up new customers, provide a good product, make people have a good time and not worry about all the superficial crap. Well, like I think you when said. you build up those new customers, you're building that foundation. That yeah. foundation, they're going to bring their friends at some point. Yeah. They're going to bring their friends. Yeah. They're going to talk. And any great business has started with a good foundation. Yep. And, and cheap floors. And cheap floors. Well, I had a, I had a manager that used to say, a shout out to Darren. He used to say, hey, Darren. I love Darren. He was one of the best I've ever worked for. But he used to say, you can get a cold beer anywhere for $2 or $10. It's about where you're at. Am I here for a Coors Light? Because I can go buy a Coors Light next door and sit on my couch and drink it for way less than what I'm going to spend with you. So they're not coming necessarily for that drink, unless it's a specialty cocktail or something that you make they can't get anywhere. But overall, people are coming for the experience. They're coming for you or, or for what you provide, not necessarily because you have beautiful floors and your ceiling is state yeah, of the art I mean, digital how, or some crap. How many shithole places have you been in in Philly or New York? And had the or, best time. And had uh, the best time yeah. there. And it's places like that that you look at and you're like, these people didn't invest a f-ing thing into they, this place. They didn't have to. And it took me three weeks to get a seat in here or a seat at the bar. And those are the best I places. Mean, that's the best example I can give that it's it doesn't vibe. take a 50,000, 100,000, whatever investment. No, you, yeah. Mm-hmm. For a good cook, give him one piece of equipment, he'll make a menu out of it. Give somebody with a good eye, they could take a layout and make it hot. Mm-hmm. And takes very little uh, well, look to at go that. a long way with but the right like, people. Look at that one place. It's it's near here. It's huge. It kind of looks like a furniture store from the outside, but it's beautiful. And it's like, wow, flashy, flashy. I want to go see this place. And you go there and you're like, well, there's not really anybody here. It's huge. And yeah. it's just a vodka tonic. Like it's not that big a deal. Yeah. And they put all this money into it where if they had it started with something more like how we do in the um, Cara group, a yeah. small, intimate it's got a feeling. It's got a vibe. You feel like you want to be there. I feel like that kind of stuff 
will sell itself over and over again, rather than we're all going to run to the flashy light, exactly. go in there, see it's like, okay, whatever. And then never go well, back. You always go to the place with the line out the door. Yeah. Right. And I stay always. away from the white light guys. Stay, stay away from, from the, the white light, light as well. Don't go into the light. Man. Don't go in. <laughs> uh, new owners. Don't be afraid to spend the money. Don't be afraid to find it. You're going to mm. be broke for a very long time, but it's mm -hmm. okay to be broke. So be broke now. Well, it says the first three years, you're not going to make no, anything. So just, just, it's fine. You can do it. You can do it. Even if you have restaurants, you're still going to be broke. Yeah. Well, yeah. Always. You're still broke. <laughs> always. Sorry, Keep Jenny. Going. Keep going. <laughs> so, so I, I guess the best advice to give is <sighs> run. Uh, well, don't, don't run. run. Don't, don't run. Don't run. Make a career, but do it the smart way. Don't go all out. Don't load up everything. Just open. Just, Just open. open the don't, doors. Don't overcomplicate it. Don't overcomplicate it. And yes. always wear pants. And I think we'll, we'll save this for another episode, but get the right deal. Always the get right the deal. right. There's a million places on the market, but maybe one percent of them, the deals make their home run. Their home, yeah, run, home deals. run deals. Yeah, I got you. So, low risk. Low risk. So uh, I don't know. Anything else? No, I'm good. Just I'm good too. Freaking sweating. It's hot in here. I'm hungry. God damn. You want to go for a drink? <laughs> yes. 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 Guys, I'm Pete. Georgia Jazz Hands. Liana. Liana. Ooh. I like Rihanna. Liana. Liana. <laughs> Rihanna. I like them both. I mean, Ow. but I am just Leah, and I think that's good enough. No. Cheers, everybody. <laughs>